governor of New York. David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. I, David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Governor of the State of New York. Of Governor of the State of New York. According. <laughs> According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. NPR took a DNA test with, uh, for me, as they did in the program African Lives, and they found a no number of hits from Ireland and Scotland. <laughs> so I want to wish you all St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I would like to thank the Chief Judge Judith Kay for administering that oath, the chief judge who I believe will go down in history as one of the greatest chief judges the state has ever had. I would like to thank Rabbi Shmuel Lefkowitz, one of my dear friends, for coming and speaking here today, and also Monsignor Wallace Harris, my pastor, for delivering that invocation as well. I would like to thank my colleague in government, who I've now forgiven for shooting me with a water gun a few years ago, the Attorney General of the State of New York, Andrew Cuomo. And I would like to thank a moderately popular controller in this chamber, the one and only controller, Tom DiNapoli. The last time I was in this chamber, I was gaveling in for the state of the state. And Speaker Silver had brought me in here to practice so I didn't destroy anything. <laughs> in our first year, but in our second year, I told the speaker, don't bother, I know how to do this. And apparently, I was about to bring the gavel down on a glass, <laughs> like this one. The speaker, at the last second, grabbed the gavel away from me, and he told me in his own inimitable way, as only Shelley can, I would not allow you to turn the state of the state into a Jewish wedding. Jewish hit in there too, uh, Shelley. Thank you so much for your hospitality and for having all of us in the chamber today. I would also like to thank the members of the assembly along with the speaker for having us and the members of the Senate for coming to this swearing in and their leader, none other than my good friend, the majority leader of the New York State Senate, Joseph L. Bruno. The other day we had lunch and he said, listen, some evening, uh, if you feel like it, you should come out to the ranch and have dinner with me. I'll go, but I'm going to take my taster with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I would also like to thank the Senate Minority, the conference from which I first served as a state senator for 21 years, and their very great leader, the man who has moved the conference beyond any place anyone ever thought it could go, the one and only Senator, Senate Democratic leader, Malcolm A. Smith. And I would like to finally thank the leader of the uh, Assembly Republican Conference in the New York State, Assem uh, State Assembly. He asked me the other day when he came by the office, do you, still play do you still play basketball, David? I told him, I don't play basketball, Jimmy. I teach basketball. Maybe you'd like to come by for a lesson sometime. <laughs> Jim Tedesco, Assembly Minority Leader. After some very difficult surgery, I don't know if I am touched by the appearance of anyone else here today than to have back with us our former governor, George Pataki. The governor is looking very well, and he's getting a lot better. Also with us today is former Governor Hugh L. Carey, everybody. Please greet former Lieutenant Governor, you know I had to get the Lieutenant Governors announced, Stan Lundeen. And a very good friend of mine, and to all of you, our former controller, Carl McCall. We have with us today both of our United States Senators. And we would like to present them right now, the senior senator from New York, and of course, a, 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 a rose from Brooklyn, Charles Schumer. Probably just as good a time of any to uh, move on here just for a bit. And if you're looking at, he's introducing Chuck Schumer. That's really the heavy hitters row right there. Uh, you've got Hillary Clinton, you've got Chuck Schumer, you've got David Dinkins. Um, you've got George Pataki. Uh, you saw the former governor, um, Hugh Carey, in that row. You saw Mike Bloomberg, a bunch of people there. Uh, we're going to come back after a quick break. There he is, introducing Senator Hillary Clinton. Uh, we're going to come back after a quick break, continue this, uh, and also get uh, per some perspective from John Rowland. CNN Newsroom continues right after this, but we're still going to have this for you.